Good morning, you guys. So I am putting on my makeup, so I figured I would just go ahead and vlog while I do that so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, it's Friday, so we have one more day until we're due. <laughs> Still pregnant. Um, sorry, I um, am uploading my videos kind of sporadically. It just sometimes depends on um, you know, I try to upload them at night or in the next morning, but the more pregnant I get, the harder things get for me. So I am sorry that um, my videos are not uploading exactly um, at the same time, but I am trying to get them to you as fast as I can. Um, right now I'm just putting on my True Match Lumi foundation in the color Sand Beige. So I just self tanned and then showered off the bronzer. So I know you can't really tell, <clears throat> sorry, tell in this lighting um, because it's so yellow in here. Um, but my tan is developed and it's a lot darker than it looks in, in camera. Um, but it's still not super dark because I'm not white. Um, I'm just trying to do things to make myself feel good at this point because I don't have anything else to do. I have just done everything I could possibly do to get ready for this baby and um, I haven't been sleeping really at night. So, um, Tech and Bell, stop. Not, not right now. I always want to do that. Okay, so I haven't been sleeping very good at night. Um, I've been having a lot of discomfort and just a lot of emotions. I've been super, super emotional this week, um, especially the last couple of days. Um, as if you watched my vlog from yesterday, <laughs> you will know that. Um, I've just been really, really on edge and not getting a lot of sleep. And I'm just at my breaking point at this point, I now understand why people get induced at 39 weeks. Um, because for me, it's been really rough. Um, this 39th week has been really rough on me. Um, I think it's a lot of emotions and hormones and just physically. Tech and Bell, stop. <sighs> they don't want to go outside, but they don't want to be quiet and they bother me all day to do things and as soon as I want to record they want to play and be loud it's like I do exactly what they want all day long and now this one moment I want to record a video so anyway this week has just been rough and um, right now I'm just trying to surrender and do whatever makes me feel good um of course nothing that would go against the rules of pregnancy i'm not like drinking wine or anything um i'm just putting some mineral veal from bare minerals on to set my foundation um so i've been just so emotional and my body is just so uncomfortable my hips are just like every time i move my leg or do anything I can just hear my hips like my femur bone like the ball and socket joint is just like cracking <laughs> and like I just have so much pain and my hips are just like loose and I don't know it's just all those hormones that do that but I've had a lot of thigh pain too like a lot of like soreness in my like groin area um, which I know is also one of those things that preps you for giving birth. And so it just feels like every time I have to like adjust myself, I'm just like miserable. Um, but I'm really happy and healthy. I'm still just like, um, I'm still just like really, really excited and, um, look at Belle. I'm excited and I'm like I have like patience and everything in me left it's just you know I'm just I'm just on edge so um, 
I am just telling you this, I guess, because I'm not doing my normal Q&A thing. So I just wanted to kind of dig into how I'm really feeling and share with you, like, what's been happening. Um, so last night, my, um, my mom stayed the night the last couple days. She came in on Wednesday, th uh, Tuesday. She came in on Tuesday, took me to my doctor's appointment Wednesday, and stayed Wednesday night, Thursday night. And then this morning, she went back home. And she's going to come back on Sunday unless I go into labor before then. Um, so that has been amazing. My mom is the best. And she's just, like, helped around the house so much. And, like, taken me to lunch and dinner and, like, movies and just kept me distracted. And um, she was there with me when I got my hair done. And, you know, she just has been great to, like, keep me motivated and out of the house and, like, you know, because I feel like if she hadn't come during this last bit of this week, I probably would have lost it because I have already been antsy being in the house a lot and not wanting to go anywhere at the same time because I don't really feel like going anywhere by myself. And the thought of like having to drive myself around if I like go into labor or whatever, because I don't like live very close to much, like I just don't want to leave the house very often unless it's like just the grocery store, which is not that fun. So, um, I'm just like so grateful that she came in, even though we didn't have a baby. She thought we were going to have a baby by now, but, um, you know, we can't really predict that either. So I'm just putting bronzer on right now just to kind of like on the outside of my face and contour my cheeks a bit. Um, and some on my nose, but she's coming back Sunday and I'm super excited about that because I already miss her. She left this morning. Um, the last two nights I have not been able to sleep at all. Like I lay down and then I like baby sleep for like an hour or two very restlessly. And then I just end up coming in the living room and watching Netflix and bouncing on my ball and just like doing whatever I can to stay comfortable. Um, and I have just been a zombie the last couple of days and like physically just so, so tired. Um, and my body, like my hands and my feet have been swelling a little bit more. So like they feel really stiff, which they've been doing that, but it's gotten worse and they just feel like really like uncomfortable and I just feel like my circulation and everything is like making me uncomfortable and sometimes when I lay down to go to sleep or just to get comfortable to lay down on the couch to like watch TV or something, I sometimes get like really lightheaded and hot and so... I don't know why um, and I get like dizzy and nauseous and all of that in the mornings so I'm just having a lot of <laughs> really uncomfortable things happening so my mom being here is really great because it's been really hard um, but she left this morning and somehow this um, last night I slept for like two hours and then I got up kind of gave up on sleeping and came in here and decided at like four in the morning to start cleaning the house. <laughs> so I like deep clean things. So I like went into like nesting mode for some reason and I had all this energy and like I felt good. And so I was like, people say that that's like a labor sign when you nest like that. And so I kind of got like a second wind today. So I'm kind of feeling like a lot better. And, um, I mean, and I was doing that on, like, no sleep, and so it was really weird, um, but, like, I, like, cleaned my washer, like, my clothes washer. I sprayed it down and, like, scrubbed it on the inside because it, like, gets all gunky, you know, and then I cleaned my utility sink because my husband washes his boots in there, and it gets so nasty, and then, like, you know, I have dogs, so, like, all the lint and the dust from the laundry room is, like, sticking to all this stuff. So I cleaned the laundry room basically and I like wiped all the counters down in the kitchen, loaded the dishwasher and cleaned the fridge. Like I wiped the fridge down and everything. 
and then um, I like organized and tidied up the bathrooms and did laundry and like we had a huge pile of clothes on the dining room table because since my mom's been here I've been slacking on my house chores a lot because I've been like out of the house with her a lot so yesterday the laundry like piled up because we were like switching it out we weren't folding it and so this morning I folded all of the laundry which was like every towel that we own and um, I made my bed and cleaned my room <laughs> Like I did all of that before 7:30 this morning. And then by the time my mom was leaving this morning, I laid down on the couch. I guess that was like, oh, I also self-tanned this morning too and like took a shower and stuff. Um so my mom left, I guess at like 9 or something, I think. And by the time she was leaving, I had laid down and I went straight to sleep before she even left the house and was like I just remember her patting my forehead and saying, I'll be back. And she called me earlier. Uh, well, I called her earlier because I was like telling her um, what my doctor's, doctor said um, when they called today, and uh, which I'll tell you in a second. And then uh, like I just like slept so hard for like three hours, I think. It was like from like nine to noon, I think. And so... I feel so much better after getting that sleep. And so I like woke up and it's like lunchtime and I was like, well, I guess I'll get a snack. I'm like looking around my house like, wow, I cleaned my house. Like I have nothing to do today. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because I'm just like, wow, I like did everything and more than I could have done today. So right now I'm just doing my makeup to do something. And I know since it's Friday, um, my husband and I will probably go out to eat tonight. Um, I really want to go to this place, um, in Zachary, which is like 15 minutes away. And it's a um, new pizza place called Lit Pizza. Um, you might have had it before. Um, but it's kind of like a really different type of pizza place. You kind of like build your own pizza, like a subway line kind of thing. And, um, I'm really, really liked it. My mom took me yesterday for lunch and it was so good. I got the veggie delight pizza and I put marinara on it. I think it just comes with olive oil. I don't know if it comes with marinara normally, but I was obsessed. It had like zucchinis and onions and mushrooms and like, um, those Greek olives and like all this delicious stuff. Um, so I was really, really craving that again today um, already. So I think I might get my husband to take me because he's never been um, and it's right around the corner. So it'll be an easy little dinner date. Um, so I'm just kind of getting dressed right now to not dressed really. I'm just wearing my same old gray tank top that I wear like all the time. As soon as this thing gets out of the dryer, I put it on. Um, but I'm just like doing my makeup so that I can have that done and you know I just like to do that every day even if I don't go anywhere um, this is the Milani blush I really like it it's a baked blush and you can get it at Walmart or drugstore and it's called Berry Amour and I've had it for a while and a little bit goes a long way but it also has like a little bit of shimmer so I haven't been putting highlighter on because it kind of has like a sheen to it um, my husband hates blush, so I have to like be really careful when I wear it because he thinks it's so ugly. It's like too much. So I kind of have to blend it out, make sure it doesn't look like too makeup-y. My husband actually likes it when I wear less makeup. He does not like it when I wear too much. Like he doesn't even like it if I wear like lipstick. Like he, like he doesn't care if I do. He's not like going to tell me not to. But he, he really, like, is more attracted to my face whenever I just, like, keep things more natural. So, lately, I've been um, kind of embracing the more natural look. Y'all, my lips are so puffy, and I love it because they look so fake, and it's hilarious. They were already big before, but it really does look like I have, like, plumper in my lips right now compared to normally. And I hope that we can uh, stay at this level of plump because if it gets any worse, it's going to be ugly. <laughs> um, I feel like they've really plumped up though. Uh, 
So anyway, so I wear this um, neutral shade because he doesn't like a lot of crazy colors. And I'm okay with it because it's really easy to do my makeup when I don't really have to wear much for my husband to think it looks good. Not that he should think I should wear more. <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't. Um, so this is called Velvet Matte by Victoria's Secret. It's their cream lip stain. And this color is called Perfection. I really, really love this color. And it's really pretty by itself, matte. But my lips have been a bit dry and, like, <laughs> sensitive because they're swelling. And it's like my skin on my lips feels like it's, like, thinner. So I put the matte lipstick on, but I find that I need a little bit extra moisture. So I've been wearing Nude Kisses by Laura Geller um, in Peach Please. So um, I like to put that on top. Y'all, having my roots done is like life to my face. I feel like my roots being brighter, it really does make a huge difference on like how I do my makeup and like how I feel about my face because um, like I can get away with not darkening my eyebrows like my eyebrows don't have anything on them right now and so it's like you know I don't feel as like I feel like I look more naturally pretty when my roots are done and <laughs> because you know blonde people tend to have like no eyelashes and eyebrows anyway so it looks more natural when I do that versus when my hair is really dark up here. I feel like I have to have mascara and eyebrows on or it just looks like really, um, I look really homely. So um, I am going to still put mascara and eyebrows on, but I just don't really have to worry anymore if I don't want to. So that is nice. I love makeup and I think it's really fun to enhance your beauty. I think it's, you know, fun to do the crazy looks that kind of totally change your face. But I also think it's really good to have a really natural beauty routine that you feel confident in that doesn't, you know, take a lot of products that, you know, you really just enhance what you have and, you know, that way you're not like counting on tons of makeup all the time. Because I swear I used to be like that. I used to have to wear eyeliner or have to have this or that. And um, it really is kind of hard when you're that high maintenance. Because there are times where you can't be that high maintenance. And you don't want to feel, you know, insecure when you go, you know, like to the beach or something. So it's nice to have, like... A daily routine that's not so crazy because I feel like when you don't wear makeup then you don't feel like there's such a change in your in your face so I feel like that eyebrows darker um, at least that's how I feel like if I wear eyeliner all the time then I will like my eyes will just look so different without it because my eyes obviously have no definition because I have blonde eyelashes and no kind of darkness around my eyes so when I get really into wearing dark eye makeup when I don't wear it it really does like make me feel less pretty and so I have to like kind of only do it every once in a while because I'll get used to it and then when I don't have it on I'm like oh I look bad but that's just me I've um I have insecurities and I've had to learn to like, you know, work around. Um, I've had to learn to like, you know, find what things are worth stressing about with my routine and, you know, what I depend on to feel a certain way shouldn't be so many things and products. Um, simpler the better, I think. Um, so we're just putting mascara on. Um, it's kind of crazy because I actually have some decent eyelashes. It's just that you really can't see them until I put mascara on. 
That's why I think it would be really pretty to get like a um, lash lift and tint. Because if I did a lash lift and got them tinted, I almost feel like I would hardly wear any makeup ever. I would just put like all the other steps on and then be done. Um, a little bit of lip gloss and foundation and then I'd be good to go. Of course, I do wear bronzer. I have to have something on my cheeks and stuff to kind of add some definition back to my face after I found put foundation on. I feel like when I put foundation on, it like takes away so many things. Kind of kind of add some color back. So I have gone back to my double extend mascara. This is an old tube. Um, I really liked the other one. I'll show you which one I'm talking about in a second. When I first got it, but lately I hate it. I don't know if it's like my eyelashes just have changed since then because I do notice sometimes that my eyelashes, you know, they um, go through stages. You know, you lose eyelashes and then they grow back in. So there are times where it's like your eyelashes are like really fluffy and nice and then they're like... For me at least like sometimes they get to where they're like less long and fluffy and then they like grow back in really nice um so we're kind of getting back to the fluffy long stage but i think this mascara just is not very good after a while it's like it expires really fast because every time i've tried to use it now it's just like clumpy and not pretty I can't get any length out of it, um, and I can get lots of length with this one. I'm telling you, I always go back to this mascara. It's just amazing. You can see how much definition I've already got in my eyes, and I mean, I take my time when I put it on, but the formula is awesome too because it's not messy to clean off your eye if you get it on you. It's kind of like this like little capsules it forms around your eyes. Kind of like little fibers and it's just so nice and like if you sweat or cry or whatever or your eyes water this stuff does not come off like normal mascara it doesn't like leak down your face and like smear at all it's like it comes off in little capsules around your eyelashes so it's like it really doesn't budge until you really wet it and like use your fingers to rub it off so like if it gets a little bit wet from whatever normally it you know unless you touch it and mess with it it's kind of protected pretty good so love it so I don't put a lot on my bottom eyelashes because my bottom eyelashes are really long and it looks really really bad if I put too much mascara on them um, the only time I will is if I have like a really smoky look and I can handle a lot of eyeshadow on the bottom and I need the length but like for this kind of look I just like barely put some on or it will look like spider <laughs> spider lashes coming at you so we now have some lashes and this is the mascara that um, I was using. It's a Full Lash Bloom by CoverGirl. And I'm just not impressed with it anymore. So, sad day. So, sorry if I recommended it before and you got it and you like it now. You might not like it next week. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, but get the Double expend, Extend by L'Oreal. It's really good. So you've probably already seen my hair from yesterday, but this is what it looks like today, all curled. Um, it actually is really healthy. They did a good job at not touching my ends too much and like just the health of my hair is perfect. So I'm really happy with how my hair ended up turning out and it took a lot of tears to get there. <laughs> I feel so bad that I had to break down at that salon, y'all. I felt so bad, but you know what? Sometimes when you're pregnant, you just cry. So I think they were all very understanding. Uh, but I did feel really bad. That's totally not normally how I would handle things. Um, 
but so I'll go ahead and give you the update and then we'll um, be done with this vlog um, for now. Um, so basically, tech and bell stop. So basically my doctor's appointment, um, my doctor told me that we need to get a, an induction date on the books. So today my nurse called and she scheduled my induction date. And because my cervix isn't very open, she decided to do it at 41 weeks in one day, which is the 27th on Sunday. So that's my induction date and I'm a little bit nervous, hoping that baby girl will come before she has to be taken and evicted um, because I don't want to be induced, but my doctor is going to try to do the most natural induction route possible. I'll basically come in Sunday night, next Sunday, um, if she's not here by then, and she's going to do Cytotech and give me some time with that to see like what it does to my cervix and see if I'll kind of like naturally go into labor without having to have like any other drugs. And then, um, the next day probably, or like later that night, if I'm dilated and she can just break my water or whatever, like she'll do that. Or she might do the Foley bulb where they stick that like balloon thing up there and expand it manually, um, which is better than doing like, um, taking all the drugs and stuff. So for me, at least I think, um, which doesn't sound fun, but I really don't want to have Pitocin because I don't know how much I could manage the pain with Pitocin. Um, so most likely if I get induced, I think I'll be more susceptible to getting the epidural. Um, but honestly, you guys, I've been so uncomfortable and so tired that I am not going to be mad at myself if I could get the epidural when I go into labor naturally or induction wise because I am just so uncomfortable and so tired already. I'm just like, you know what? I don't have to have a natural labor if it's not, you know, worth my sanity. Like, I mean, I want to, but there is nothing wrong with having an epidural in my opinion.